Style presets let you change the look and feel of your visuals with just one click. And you already know them from tables and matrix visuals. But now you can set up your own presets for any type of visual. And that is amazing and a huge time saver. So let's see how to set them up. Now to follow along, you need to be on the March 25 Power BI version or later. And it's not because style presets are a new feature. We already know them from tables and matrix visuals, like this one over here. If we select this table visual and we go to formatting options, you see there we have style presets. And there we can choose from different styles, like bold header style or the bold header flashy rose style. You see, it changes multiple formatting options in one go. And that is a huge time saver. And themes generally serve that purpose so that you can develop reports more quickly, but are also more consistent, not only yourself, but also your team, your organization can use that same theme. However, sometimes you need a little bit more flexibility and you do not just want to have one style for a bar chart or a line chart. And that's where presets come in. So to set them up, let's first change this table visual into something different. So I reset the styles, then go over here to the builds panel where I choose a clustered bar chart. All right, then here at the top, we can go to view where you see the theme options. So here we can pick a default theme like this one over here. And now I want to customize that theme, which you can do by going here to customize current theme. We can give it a name. So this is my demo theme. And then we can go to visuals to set up how the visuals should look like. Maybe you want to have a different background color for your visuals. Now that same color, you can also maybe use for the border. Let's turn it on. Or uh, maybe let's go a little bit darker. All right, so just like this. And maybe you want to have a radius of, let's say 20 pixels. Okay, now let's apply these changes. You see, now we have rounded corners and we have a different background color, which is nice. However, I want to have more flexibility. So I'm going to set up some themes for a clustered bar chart. Okay, now to do that, we have to go to the theme file, which is just a text file, a JSON file, which you can see if you save the current theme, and you can give it any name. So demo theme.json. And then you can open it up in basically any text editor. Although there are some better ones like Visual Studio Code, which just comes with a lot of extra options. So that's the one that I'm using. Now that doesn't look very readable. So therefore we can format it. So right click format document. And that already looks much better. All right. Now over here, you see the color palette, the accent colors, etc., and the visual styles that we just changed using the Power BI interface, right? So the background color and the border uh, of the visualizations that are being applied to all of the visualizations. Now, before making any changes here, we need to know what is possible and if it's correct or not. So therefore, you need to go here to the top and insert a schema. So here in between quotation marks, you can say schema, double quotes, and then a comma at the end. And then between the quotation marks, you need the theme schema file, which can be in the same folder as the Power BI file or a link uh, to the online version. Now, where to find that link? Well, for that, we need to go back to Power BI and then here theme. And then here we have how to create a theme, which brings us to the documentation. And then you just scroll all the way down and then a little bit up. And there we have the schema repository. All right, now that brings you then to the repository where you have all of the schema files. And I was hoping for the March 25 version, but not there yet. So I just go for this one, the February version, then click here on raw. And that gives us the link, the link that we can use here in our JSON file. All right, so in between the quotation marks, you put that link. Okay, now, now that we have that, we can scroll further and now we have to understand the formatting structure here. So visual styles, how are they formatted? And what does that asterisk mean? That is asterisk that means for all types of visuals and all presets, that's the second one and that's the interesting one. And then we have the cards and the properties. Now this structure is also explained in the documentation. You see, we have visual styles, visual name, style name, card name, property name. That's exactly that same structure that you see over here. All right. Now, so all of these formatting options that we defined are now being applied to all charts. Now, the presets are set up by visual type. So I'm going to copy this. All right. And then control C and then create a little bit of extra space, control V. And then here, instead of that 
asterisk sign there, we want to refer to that type of chart that we are using in our report. So that's a bar chart. So now you see we have this IntelliSense feature because we were referring to that schema. I can just say class of bar chart. Perfect. Now then we get to the preset part. So here we have that asterisk sign. And then right after it, between curly brackets, uh, so let's have two curly brackets. There we can do double quotes and then start preset. There it is. And then again, control space. That always gives you uh, the next valid option, name. All right, now the name of the default preset. That's what you define here. Now let's go for demo preset one. All right, and that's going to be my default preset. Now let me copy that and then put in the comma there at the end. And here in between quotation marks, we put that name, colon, and then here all of the formatting options for that first preset. All right, and then we're going to have exactly the same for the other preset. So I just copy this another time. And this can then be demo preset two. All right. And let's say here we don't want to have any rounding of the corners. And here we do want to have more rounding even. Let's put it to 50. And let's say here we want to have a different background color. We go for simply white. So F, 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 F. All right. And then over here, we make this one dark gray, huh? so just uh, six threes. Okay, all right, so we defined a different look and feel for the two presets, and without any preset applied, it just defaults to what we defined over here. Okay, now let's see if this works. Let's save the file, Control S, then let's go back to Power BI, and here we just have to re-import that theme, so browse for themes, select the theme, and then hopefully, it was successful. If not, that probably in most cases means you're missing a comma or one comma too many or a bracket too many. So here I was lucky. I hopefully did it correctly. Let's go here to formatting options for the chart. Ah, style presets pops up, which wasn't there before. So this is the interesting part. And you see over here we have demo preset one already selected. All right, that is the one, the default preset that I set up but I can switch to demo preset two and we have the default. Okay, so we have default, demo preset one, demo preset two. And maybe you already noticed something because something didn't work entirely. And that is if I click here on reset to default, you see it goes to demo preset one. That is the one that's selected. However, what shows that's the overall default. So I think this is still a little bug or if not, let me know what I did wrong. Uh, but you see over here, the default preset is demo preset one. And that is the one that gets selected when I click here on reset to default. Okay, so, but hmm, the formatting options for that preset don't then automatically get applied. And so I really have to click on it for the formatting options to be applied. So, but anyways, it's still super nice. Uh, so you see, we can choose the preset that we like. And if we put a little bit of extra effort in coming up with nice presets for different chart types, well, that's just amazing and makes our development much quicker. And also make sure that we can quickly change the look and feel of our visualizations without deviating too much, without uh, going away from the theme. Uh, so that we still have that consistency, not only for ourselves, but also for other Power BI developers in a team or organization. Now, let me know what you think. Is this a feature that you're going to use? Let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in learning more Power BI, tips and tricks, then check out these two videos over here. If you want to build reports together with me from beginning to end, learn all of my Power BI tricks and how to make every Power BI project a success, then check out my Power BI design transformation program over here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.